welcome you in the house of the Lord. Herschelish welcomen in Gutis uh, house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And indeed, God is the one who brought us this far. God has given us life. God has given us breath. God has given us everything to praise the Lord. Amen. The word of God, it says that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. We have breath. Amen. Amen. We are so grateful that we are not we are we are here in, in the house of God. We are not in the Cranken house in the hospital, but we are here. Amen. 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 That is the big big blessing. Amen. 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 But we are blessed indeed. Amen. Just think about the greatness of God. Just think about how God loves you personally. Yes. God loves us so much and God has a good plan for us. I'm so, so thankful for this opportunity that I said, Lord, thank you that it's Sunday again and sun every Sunday. In fact, every day is a celebration day. Mm -hmm. Amen. But together as God's children, mm -hmm. every Sunday we have a celebration mm -hmm. time. Because uh, each one of us, we need one another. There is power in unity. We can also praise God in our home, but it's totally different when you go out from your comfort zone. And we are so appreciative that you came in the house. You are here in the house of God. And your service in the Lord is not in vain. Amen? Amen. So, this afternoon, I just want to... Um, Read the word of God, the coming of the Holy Spirit in Acts uh, 2. It says, when the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, suddenly there, came, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So we need the Holy Spirit this afternoon. Not by might, not by power, but by the work of the Holy Spirit. So we need the fire of the Holy Spirit. We know that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But we, it's also very important that we welcome the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is already here, but it's different when we say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in my life. You are welcome in this place. Give us the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Expect that the Holy Spirit will teach you this afternoon, will guide you, open your heart as you listen the word. Amen. Amen. Offering time is a blessing time. Amen. Amen. Do you believe? I believe with all of my heart, really. I live in giving and receiving. <laughs> Please open your Bible in the book of Mark 11. Mark 11, verse 22 to 24. It says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, Whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Amen. We used to um, share every time we have the tithes and offering and also many passages in the Bible about giving and receiving. It's good. That we know when we give, we give in faith. And God said, have faith in God. Even in our giving, we don't only give, but ex with an expectant heart. Hold fast in the word of God, knowing that every seed, every euro, every euro that you will give in this house, surely you will reap a harvest. Amen. Why? Because the Lord that we serve in this house is alive. Amen. And God knows. God knows. Um, as me and Pastor Maxo, our family, I'm sure we are giver. And that's why we receive. We keep on investing. You know what? That is our revelation that when we give, although sometimes you don't see the result immediately, 
But that is your investment. That is your insurance for your future. Amen. For your children. For your grandchildren. Because God is our powerful God that we serve. So this afternoon, constantly believe that the word is more than able. Because God says in Hebrews that without faith, you cannot please God. Nothing is impossible for those who believe. So this afternoon, I want you to know that... The Lord that we serve is more than able to provide what you ask for. But it's also good that you give. Because in the word, it says that give and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together and running over. God is not a taker. God is always a giver. Amen. When we give, no? you give one euro, I know that you all receive more than one euro. Life alone is a big blessing. Amen. It's a big blessing. Always think that you, when you come in the house of God, you have a heart to give. No? Not empty-handed, just coming here empty. No! Give something that God can multiply. Pray that God will, you, will, will provide for you that you can be able to give in the house of God. Because He can really bless you. More than you can even think, more than you can even imagine. Remember, have a pure heart to give this afternoon. Because it will release the blessing from God. Hallelujah. It says in Hebrews 11, 1, that faith is our assurance. Assurance. We are assured. That is our title deed. Huh? We're in our house, back home, I think we also have a land, something. That, we, that it's our own. And what is the proof that that is your own? You have a title deed. You have a document. So our faith this afternoon is our assurance. Be assured that everything that you give, God can multiply it. Amen. 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 Body, soul, and spirit. It's not only material. You know, um, blessing is not always money. Because... Peace is really what we ask from God. Sometimes you have all, but you cannot sleep. Why? Because there's no peace. We need a peace from God. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Joy that comes from God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So really, everything that we ask, not only for, not only in financial area, but even in our spiritual area. Amen? Amen. So this afternoon, give and give with a joyful heart. God loves a cheerful giver. Give as a sacrificial giving. Even if one euro, five euro, don't just give that as a sacrificial giving. You know, give something. This is really our desire that give something that can, God can multiply. You cannot, for example, you cannot harvest a, a, a mango if you don't plant. No? So this afternoon, from my heart, I want to encourage you to give in this house because it's worth it. God deserves all the glory. And you can see that this really, this house belongs to the Lord. No man, God is the, the owner in this place. Amen? Amen. Then 1 euro, 5 euro, 100 euro, praise the Lord. And we'll pray together. Hallelujah. Then lift your envelope as we pray and expect God for a harvest.